refreshing. We're here and it looks huge. I almost can't believe that we're in Canada, that I'm in Canada for a freaking P1 Harmony. We were crossing customs and the customs agent was like looking at us super sus like, why are you guys here? Do you have family here? What are you going to be doing here for three days? And then I was finally like, a concert. <laughs> she like kind of smiled. She was like interrogating me. I was like, yeah, I'm here for a concert. It's crazy because I haven't said that to go overseas besides for BTS. I mean, okay, it wasn't overseas, but you know what I mean, like to a different country besides for BTS. So it was kind of, it was kind of like, wow, now I'm traveling for P1 Harmony 2 and it's really fun. It just makes me remember why I like going to live music events so much and why I like using them as an excuse to travel because I've always loved traveling ever since I was a little girl. And now if there's a concert in a part of the world that I want to go to, I'm like, why not do both? We have no plans. Just gonna walk around and see what we find and just try to take advantage of the sun before it starts raining. Looks like we came across a little amusement park. We found a log ride and girl, I'm notorious for loving log rides. Like I hate roller coasters. We found a log ride and my mom is also really scared of like, she kind of gets motion sickness and if there's any sort of like drops or a sudden height, it, it freaks her out. But I convinced her to go on this. Isn't this so cute that this is just in the park like this? I didn't record it because we literally just saw someone's hat fly off the ride, but it was fun and I wish you guys could have seen my mom scream. <laughs> the cage is blocking it, but there's this beautiful peacock. Oh my god. Oh, she's strutting. Oh, she's got an outfit on. Oh my god, we attracted this queen. Hi, queen. I'm Ale, what's your name? It's a Billy goat, so your name is Billy. Oh my god, maybe she stands Billy. Oh, she's so cute. I'm just gonna assume all the pretty animals are girls. Oh my god, look at this scenery. Be serious. I was watching Pew and Harmony's Toronto vlog and I'm trying to see what they did that we could do. Keo basically gave them a tour around Toronto because he's from Toronto. So I was like, I should just take his recommendations. You know, I'm actually really bad. Like, as much as I love traveling, I'm really bad at planning itineraries. <laughs> I don't. I just kind of show up to a new location and then I just look around and see what I can do on the spot, literally. I don't pre-plan anything, but it always goes well. We might go to St. Lawrence Market. I actually kind of want to go to Kensington Market too. We're going to go to the Ukraine on Thursday because it's supposed to rain, so might as well try to do the indoor activities that day. So it might rain tonight, so... Oh look, we found the beach! I'm tripping out at like how nice this island is. I feel like I could spend days here. Hey girls, it's starting to get a little bit cloudy, so I can definitely see that it might rain later today, but that hasn't stopped us yet. We're still at the park right now. I actually brought my laptop because, you see my outfit? It was a little bit New Jeans inspired, kind of like a youthful, bright. This was a choice, choices were made. I knew we would be doing more scenic outdoorsy things today, and this is kind of giving me New Jeans vibes. I think it fits with the super shy concept, so I haven't learned the whacking part for super shy yet, but I literally brought my laptop out. I have it connected to Hotspot, and I'm learning it right now. I've been practicing for exactly 12 minutes, and I am cooking, babe. I'm gonna try my best to get this down because I wanna film it here at the park. Let's see if I get the courage to do it because it's very public but also I'm with my mom and usually when I'm with someone when I'm filming covers it makes it less awkward for me when I'm totally by myself is when I'm like don't perceive me this song is like one of the greatest things to ever happen to k-pop jeans are changing the game it's actually kind of insane anyways you guys want to see me practice after what I think what I hope was successful filming. We just left Toronto Island and now we're gonna go to St. Lawrence Market, which is where, <laughs> thanks Keo the tour guide, that's where P1 Harmony went in their Canada Toronto vlog. Keo came up with their little itinerary, so I was like, okay, let's go check out this market. By the way, can you tell it's gotten cloudy? There's supposed to be a thunderstorm, so I kinda wanna change my outfit too, because this isn't fitting the vibe anymore, you know what I mean? We found her. I love going to places based off of recommendations. Well, the fact that one of my favorite idols grew up here and brought his members here it's so exciting we're in st lawrence market and when we walked in i recognized the smoothie shop it's where q got a smoothie in the video which is like 
but I'm gonna get a smoothie because why not? Well, it's full on raining now, so I'm glad I changed. You guys, I flopped. Because first of all, there was like a, I'm just gonna call it like a pop-up, a Beyonce pop-up here in freaking Toronto. I literally saw the email about it over the weekend and today was gonna be the last day that it would be a Toronto. And I was like, slay, like I'll be there. I totally forgot, so we didn't go. And there was a P1 cup sleeve that I also like really wanted to go to. And it was only today and it ended at five and it's six. So, see, this is why maybe you should pre plan. Outfit change number three of the day. We honestly did so much today. Right now, we're in. This is supposed to be Little Italy. I'm not seeing anything Italian about it. Actually, it kind of reminds me of London. Something with the sea. Very much that. And I love it. Right now, it's still cloudy, so there's like a dark aesthetic going on. Hence the outfit. I don't know. I love it, you guys. We're gonna get food at this Italian restaurant, get some gelato, go back to the hotel and rest because tomorrow's concert day. I can't pronounce, but it has mushrooms, and I like mushrooms. Look at my mom being a tourist, you guys. Yes, queen, get your shot. Oh my god, you guys, we just got back to the hotel, and the Hilton hooked us up. This is so sweet that is so nice fun fact last december i went to a spotify event it was the spotify wrapped party and paris hilton was the dj i went with my friend ryan and when we saw her perform we're like why is she like the icon we didn't know we were missing in our lives like she's an amazing energy beautiful woman and i was like i kind of fell in love with paris hilton and ever since then i was like i think i need to be a hilton girly so now i'm a hilton girly and my hilton besties they hooked me up this is so sweet it says Dear Ale, welcome to Hilton Toronto. We're thrilled to have you as our guest, especially during your visit for the exciting P1 Harmony concert. Like, we hope your stay is filled with unforgettable moments. Enjoy your time in Toronto. This, seeing like P1 Harmony concert, like I can't make this up. So last thing of the day before finally getting some rest, I came to the gym. I'm gonna try to learn Love Me For Me, at least the little like throw it back part. I try my best to visit fitness centers whenever I travel. I always bring a pair or several pieces of practice clothing in case I want to practice a dance. Do I always actually do it? No. But I'm glad I came to see the Hilton's Fitness Center because let me show you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have mirrors. And right now it's really empty, so I'm gonna try to take advantage and see what I could do. So excited. Me traveling to another country for a group that isn't BTS goes to show how much I enjoy P1 Harmony as artists. But the first time I saw them in concert back in January, I was blown away. So at that point, I already had tickets to two other stops and I was a little bit like, is this too much? Because I only got into them in August of last year. I met them in real life and then that's how I decided to actually stand and you guys know the story. Did not expect to be traveling to Toronto for them. Today's concert concert is general admission but tickets were sold in tiers there was tier one through i believe tier five tier one ticket holders get let into the venue first followed by tier two and so on on top of that there's vip and vvip ticket holders which you buy those packages separately from your concert ticket they don't come together so you could have a tier five ticket which is like the cheapest concert ticket and also the furthest back in the venue but you could still be a vvip ticket holder because they're sold separately vvip ticket holders they get to line up at the front of their tier. They gave us a queue number. My queue number is actually pretty high up. I'm like 124 or something like that. The 123 that have a better queue number than me. They might not all be T1. They might be T2, T3, T4, T5. So we'll see. I'm still not really expecting a good view today because I have a low queue number or high queue number and I'm short. So I'm just, I'm going for the vibes. Really just wanted to come to the show to be able to support Q in his hometown 
and see them perform in his hometown. I, I felt like it was gonna be a very memorable experience for the group and for the fandom. So I decided to come and I'm just here for the vibes. I don't have any snapshot benefits today, which snapshot is where you get to take a individual Polaroid with the member of your choice. I didn't even try to get any for Toronto, but I did get them for Mexico. My outfit, I actually really like it a lot. There's a chance I'm gonna wear the same thing to Mexico just because I like this outfit so much. If I do, that's when I'll go a little bit more full out with my makeup and stuff. I've got most of my concert makeup on. I am definitely gonna add rhinestones. I might add some white accent liner. But besides that, we're ready to go. We wanna try to take a little bit of advantage of today. Right now, we're gonna go to Kensington Market. I hear there's a lot of thrift shops and like vintage shops there. When we get back, if there's time, I wanna try Tim Hortons, but if we can't get to that today, we can definitely do it tomorrow. So today is really just like concert day for me. I am by myself and I'm gonna feel awkward. Uh, so I am gonna try to show up as close to doors opening as possible. Kensington is only about 20 minutes away by bus. So here we go. <laughs> Kensington Market. I think this might be one of my favorite places that we've been to and definitely one of my favorite shopping centers because it's like feels like there's a lot of culture here. Also, there's a lot of Latinos here and oh, I wish we could have stayed more. Okay, we're back at the hotel. I have like 20 minutes, maybe a half hour before I have to leave. I'm starting to get really excited. Like you guys, I love P1 Harmony so much. Their music is so Oh, so good. They're such good performers. They have great energy. I just love concerts. Anyways, I want to show you guys a quick room tour. Have I done that yet? I don't think so. But this is our beautiful suite at the Hilton Toronto. There's a lot of lounge space, which I really like. I was working there last night and it was so comfortable, so beautiful. The skyline in the morning is gorgeous. That's the CN Tower, which I want to take my mom up to, but she's scared of heights. So that's a no. <laughs> So they advertise it as a signed poster, but it's a printed signature. So anyways, this is the VIP lanyard and I'm okay I guess I was number 123 not 124 and he won in Toronto. Oh, welcome home cute Pretty sure the people who organized the cup sleeve are the same ones who made this banner. I think I, oh my god I could be wrong. There are so many people like so many people and vlogging feels extremely awkward But like okay, I didn't record when I was coming in because I was trying to figure out where to go But this entire road is just packed with people lined up and I think this is where the VIP members are lined up. And that's the rebel over there. And I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog because I'm scared. Oh my God, what is that? What the heck? We're taking the group photo like right now, right now. Like right now, right now, right now. What? Also, the send-off, I don't think so. During the group photo, I was pulled in last in my group and I literally, I turned around and I was like, cute. Like I wanted to try to make eye contact. He saw me, he did wave and say hi and he raised his eyebrows. Look, I'm gonna be delusional and pretend that that means he recognized me. And then as we were leaving, turned to look at Theo and I got to have a direct wave with him and also Jiu right when we left. So it was, it was good, it was really good. I'm so excited. <laughs> The first headlining show in Toronto. Plus everything. Hello, we are P1 Harmony. We're finally 
finally in Toronto, guys. <laughs> Toronto's pride and love. I'm pure hungry Q. <laughs> no, 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 it's not loud enough. I'm pure hungry Q. <laughs> I've wanted to come for so long, guys. I'm so grateful to be here in Toronto with my members today. I'm so glad that I'm finally able to come back home and be able to perform in front of my people. Hi Toronto, it's a boy to you. I'm really grateful and glad to be here and perform in front of you guys. I say in, you say top. In, in, otherwise, this is show time. showed up today, you guys made my dreams come true. Thank you guys so much. Because of that, I might get a little too excited. I am a little nervous right now. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not even joking. In Vancouver, I was like, whatever. Like, this is, this is gonna work. But in Toronto, I don't know. I'm feeling a little. So I need my members to keep me grounded, okay? Okay, Theo? Yes. Yes? Yes. And last time we were here too, I showed them, I'm from Unionville. You know what Markham represent? <laughs> Thank you for loving every day. You know it's gonna be the, the best show 
in Toronto, but it was much more energetic than I expected. That was one of the greatest shows I've ever done. Very, very excited tonight, and I'm going to see you as a team. I'm going to see you as a team. I'm going to see you as a team. He said that um, he definitely didn't expect Toronto to be loud because, because it is my hometown, but it was beyond his expectation how loud you guys were. He also says he really likes Canada because there's so many animals just outside, just, just roaming the streets. He also says, thank you for everyone coming out. And I do want to say, I want, I've said this before online before, but this was the venue that I went to my first concert with. It's really like a full 360s. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry. So I'm gonna cry. And, wait, hold on, hold on. Stop. No, literally, my elementary school friends are here, they've never seen me cry, so I'm not crying tonight, guys. I swear to God. But, um. Woo! God almost got me there. Uh, I do want to say that. This, this is a venue where I saw my first concert in yeah. with my sister. Yeah. such a perfect show because you know it was in my hometown and so you know because this venue meant so much to me that's kind of the reason why I wanted to start performing and singing after watching that show and being able to stand on the same stage is like whoa like what the hell is going on you know what I'm so, this is so nervous in Toronto Woo. to perform. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. connected right now so this is gonna be a little shaky but i'm so happy you guys that was so much fun like for those two and a half hours that was like the happiest that i've been in a minute and it's because it's the most stress-free that i've been in a minute i had no worries i was just i was immersed in the show that was such a good show i'm so happy and thankful 
that I found P1 when I did because bro these things show up in your life when you really need them you know what I mean so I could have been home like maybe 30 minutes ago but when I was waiting for my tram train whatever it is there was this group of three guys who tried asking me for help for directions I could tell that they couldn't really speak English and they told me like we're not from here and then I asked where are you from and they said Mexico and I was like oh babe I'm Mexican so we started talking in Spanish basically they told me that like all their phones had died they were trying to figure out how to get to Union Station I was like I got you I handed them my portable charger and in trying to help them navigate to Union Station I got off at the wrong stop and now I'm walking to my hotel so I'm like five minutes away it's crazy because it's literally midnight but like first of all well there's no one right now but like I've seen so many people walking around it feels safe as hell like safe as hell I'm very thankful because I felt very safe getting back to my hotel walking around on the streets alone in the freaking middle of the night and I just got back to the Hilton. I'll see if I could tell you guys more about the concert in a second. I think in that last clip, my hand was really in the way, but I have so much to say. When I used to travel for BTS concerts, I would get extremely emotional. There's something about traveling the world because you found like something that you love so much that you'd be willing to travel the world. And that's how I've always felt about BTS. That's how I feel about P1 Harmony now. Oh my God, I'm screaming. I'm new to vlogging, but in the past when I've traveled to see BTS, I get very emotional after and I'll, I tend to like film little videos that I'm sure I have stored away somewhere on a cloud. And I talk about like how emotional the experience was and what it meant to me and I share my memories. And I like doing that really fresh after a concert, but I'm really tired right now. We're actually, we wanna go get food. I'm gonna go get some food with my mom, I'm hungry. Hi mom. Okay, our last stop for the night. I'm so excited for this. And also they close at 4 a.m. Like they did this for me. We're gonna get poutine. <laughs> Hey BFFs. Good morning. Today's the last day in Toronto. I had a moment when I was looking outside, looking at all the people walking on the streets and I'm like, let me stay here. Ooh, let me stay here. I love Toronto like 50 times more than I would have ever imagined. I, I could live here. I could truly live here. And I've only ever said that about San Francisco besides LA. Oh, we love walkable cities. LA could never. It's pretty early. It's like 8 a.m. We're gonna go get breakfast and then head to the aquarium. I'm also still feeling a little bit overwhelmed with how happy the concert made me feel and how well it went. It was so good. It was, it was, it was just a moment of happiness in my life. And I'm so thankful. <laughs> Checked out. First stop is the aquarium. I love Toronto. I love it here so much. I don't want to leave. Yo, this play area for kids is packed. Why does this look like Disneyland right now? I resonate with her. Pick up our bags and head to the airport. <laughs> 